Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It is gigantic. Big. I went to four Dollar Trees on the hunt for fall and Halloween decor that I know is out. So let's get started. Um, first the non crafty folly decoration stuff. I grabbed some of this awesome. I already have a bottle. This is the refill. The refill comes in 32 ounces. The spray bottle comes in less. I don't know how many. I don't have it with me. Um, this stuff is fabulous for getting grease off of your cookware. Like I bake my bacon in the oven and this is great to get it off the pan. So it's a pretty much of a, it's a great degreaser. I love it. So I had to get a refill of that. I use that all the time. Um, I grabbed a couple hand sanitizers. I don't know if they're scented, what the difference is. Oh, lemon and lavender. Um, back to school's coming. These are great for your purse. Um, taking these to my cousins. I'm going over there tonight and they're forever, you know, doing things. So I picked up two, thought they could use them when they're out and about. That's great for like purses, backpack size, and then you can just refill it with your big bottles. So I grabbed those. Um, I found some more eco tools at my store and this is the facial con conjac sponge. It's a hundred percent natural vegetable fiber facial cleanser sponge. So I grabbed two of those. These are for Christmas. And to go in the package with all the eco stuff, I got some Biore charcoal micellar water. And I think these all make great gifts. I'm putting all the eco tools together with some cleanser and calling it a gift. I picked up some of these dog treats for the many dogs apparently I have in my life. These are made in USA. There's no weird ingredients and they're just little chew sticks and the Especially for the little dogs, they like these a lot. And I, the last two weeks, I had my brother's dog and my boss's dog, and I've run out of dog treats. So I had to replace Luna's supply when she comes. I'll go get her some more, but I saw those. Um, speaking of Luna and Sarah, now my Sarah, she's my niece. She's a high school English teacher, and she wanted a couple of these. They're pencil holders, but it's on the back put a book spine guys I mean how awesome is that on her desk at work so she wanted a couple I grabbed her four and then she can put her pens on her desk so I grabbed those for Sarah and then the last non crafty bits I grabbed I love this aluminum foil I use a half sheet pan um, and this covers the entire thing so I like that and then I just grabbed some more parchment this is great I use parchment paper all the time when I cook. It just keeps my pans from having to be washed constantly when I'm baking something in the oven and things don't stick to it. So I got that. Now there's a difference between parchment paper and waxed paper. You do not want to cook with waxed paper. You can store things in it. You could freeze with it, but you don't want to cook with it. It is wax coated. It will melt and get wax in your food just as a heads up. Okay. Ooh, I gotta free my legs. I'm all cramped up in here. Okay, so I told you, I went on, I was on a mission this morning and I went and got some ribbon. I was on the hunt for the Buffalo check. No go, every store I went to, um, one store had five open boxes of ribbon and every single one of them, the trucks and the Buffalo check were gone. I asked somebody and they had said there was a YouTuber through who, wiped them out. So I'm assuming there's another YouTuber in my area or somebody that went to all the Dollar Trees and wiped them out because I could not find a single spool of it. Not a big deal. Uh, but I did find the burnt orange and the green that look like burlap. Now this is wired. I'm sorry for the glare. There we go. This is wired, but these are the exact colors I'm doing my house in this year. Like I'm bringing in this burnt orange and this green. So I bought three of each and I will tell you I got one set at each store I found them at so I didn't wipe anybody out I'm gonna put stuff back in bags guys because I got a lot of stuff here 
Um, these are going to be great to do bows, um, accents, garlands, all the things. Um, there's only nine feet per spool, so I just wanted to make sure I had enough to make some big bows, basically. And then the other ribbon that I found were the sunflowers, which, oops, which I love. And this is um, Grogain ribbon. So you can actually melt the ends of this and it won't fray. I got some orange gingham and then brown with orange maple leaves. I have a lot of ribbon. I just thought these were cute and I was kind of on the hunt for specific ribbons and then I was like, well, I need that. Right? It's raining. Oh, is it really raining out there today? Um, I found these velour pumpkins. I'm going to tell you guys, if you see them, you should grab them. They're really nice. For a dollar, they're um, a styrofoam covered in velour. You could also just rip the fabric off and um, DIY them. I'm dropping them all because I'm trying to hold three at a time and I can't, apparently. So I got the green because I really wanted to incorporate that. I love this brown and cream and together they will make something. I don't know. They'll go somewhere in my house or not. I mean, they're a dollar. I'm not that, here we go. I'm not that concerned. But those are the colors I picked up. I have a ton of pumpkins. If you watch my get ready, uh, my planning video for fall, I have a ton of pumpkins. I just didn't have this specific pumpkin so I grabbed those now these are fun look at these tiny little pumpkins guys they are tiny so I grabbed one pack of each these are cream these are orange um, they do whoa it's really raining out there they have the metal on the back so you could attach these to something um, like in a floral arrangement or on a candle or whatnot. But what you can also do is take the little metal off and put them in the back of a truck or use them in a tiered tray or something tiny, you know, to fill a little vessel. So I grabbed one of each. I can always paint them. They are a, like a styrofoam. Yeah, I can paint those. So I grabbed one of each. I think that would be sufficient for my, ooh. And I lost a stem, which is fine. I'll just glue it back in. There we go. So I grabbed a set of those. Those were the only two colors I saw. Was this cream color. And these are coming out, but nothing that a little hot glue won't fix, right? And then in the same vein, they have these little tiny sunflowers that, again, have the wire on the back. But you can snip that wire off. I'm going to probably use these to attach to things, but I'm loving the sunflowers for fall. And I thought these are adorable. You can even do like, um, what are those? Oh, that one's broken. The um, friend mail, there's a name for it. I always forget what it's called, but they're little plastic um, sections when you mail them out to each other. I don't know, but anyway, those will go in there. So I grabbed one of each, and these are the only two sizes I saw at my store. Again, there might be more. And then this couple things here are very new to me this year. They had the the, um, the felt banners out last year, but certainly didn't have a football one. Now, I could use this just like it is, and I probably will, but you could take this felt pumpkin off, take all these things off, and make something different. But I just like it how it is, and I will put it out if there is a football season. I'm kind of sad there might not be, but I mean, I understand why there might not be, but I don't have to be happy about it. Um, if you decide to take this apart, you can then cut off this and use this wooden piece to hang another banner and get multiple crafts out of this. But I liked it, and I liked the football. And again, they had multiple different designs of that. Um, some more pumpkins I found were these picks. Now, I know they had these out last year, but not in white. It's a cream, and they are speckled, but you can paint them. And some of these may end up copper. Don't be surprised, because... I think these would spray paint rather well a couple of them for a nice for my decor because that's kind of what I'm incorporating is the little metals into mine so this pack comes with five this pack comes with four and I think they have little tiny ones that come with eight I didn't see them in the white and I already have them in the orange so I may just paint some orange ones and not the white. I don't know I bought them they're gonna go into a uh, flower arrangement or something garland cut the sticks off and throw them in. I don't know. I don't know. 
what I'm doing with any of this stuff. I just went crazy. Guys, I went crazy. I grabbed that. Now, this is something completely different than I have ever seen. It's the Deco Mesh Tubing in Burlap. Guys, it's burlap. Do you see that? I should take it out. Now, I will say, the colorful tubing comes in 30 feet. This only comes in 15. But look at that. It's deco mesh, right? But it's burlap. Now, what I'm thinking is this is going to be some fun stuff. I'm going to figure out something to do with it. But it's burlap, guys. Oh, you know what you could totally do? is push it down like this and fish some, or cut it and fish some Christmas lights in there, or just string it up in your garland, make bows out of it, make flowers out of it. It's just interesting, and I had never seen this before, and maybe I'm crazy, but I know this was not out. It was not in my stores last year, how about that? So I picked up three packages of it, and we'll figure out something to do. What I also like about it is that it's plastic coated. It'll be great for outdoor decorating. You know, I, th I think, anywho. These are all my own opinions. Okie dokie. Wow, I'm going through this awfully quick, guys. Um, I have a DIY coming up. Um, so I bought four of these emergency candles, pillar candles, prayer candles. I don't know what they're called. But I bought four of them to do a little DIY with. So I need those. And these are great at Christmas time. You could take a Sharpie or a uh, paint pen and just make a snowman on it. It's super cute. Super easy, right? And then for that project, I also picked up a uh, one of these candle holders in this purple color. Not for fall, but you know. I got this one, which may end up seeing across this bottom some copper paint. I like this a lot. And then this jar, which is in the food section. And I have seen everything from putting scrubs in here, using it for sugar bowls, using it for whatever. It may end up being a candy dish in my house or a candle. But yeah, and you can put a label on here. These are great. If you're gonna be making some homemade Christmas gifts, Anything like scrubs or lotions or candles, I would grab these. They're fun. And you can spray paint the lid. My will be what color? Copper. All right, so I got that to go with those. Um, oh, and this pumpkin I found, which again, the little stem is coming off in this dark green. I don't have anything, I don't have a lot of green, so I wanted to grab, which I think is a pretty green to go in, it's all gonna go into a display. I'm sorry if you hear banging, my neighbors are doing something. I'm not really sure what they're doing over there, but they're banging. Um, so I wanted all the shades of gray. Just kidding, all the shades of, of green. Now, um, the last of the fall, I found the truck that I can paint. The only thing that's weird to me is they've already put gold on the Happy Harvest down there go glitter but I can just paint over it or leave it I guess but I'm gonna paint this not with those paints with a different paint I think and it's not attached to the base so really it could be used in anything I could even paint it and stick it in my tray if I wanted to now there's banging on the other side why are we banging? What are they building? I don't know. Um, I don't know, guys. I bought the letters. I finally found them. I've been on the hunt for these for a while. So I grabbed five packages for a very specific reason. Each pack is only one set of the alphabet. So if you want your vowels, you got to buy multiple. So I bought five packages of these. And then I can just do whatever I want. Because I do have a DIY involved. And it takes two E's. Yeah. Um, so I already needed two. So I thought, you know what, girl? Just get them. But these are great for decorating and putting names and words on things. Just easy. You know, because you can just paint them and wood glue them down to any of your projects. So I grabbed five of those. Part of it is for DIY. Part of it is just to replenish my stash. 
Um, I'm on a hunt for a third one of these, but I did find two. Um, I saw at Hobby Lobby, now it's shorter and fatter, like it's a freestanding, exactly this design though. So I think what I will do, I wanna put three together or something, like do something. I don't know what, but three, three. So I have two. I'll find another one. I'm at the Dollar Tree all the time. But for right now, I have two. Um, what I like about these is it's two-dimensional. So what I could do is paint it all one color, sand a little bit on the top, and then do some highlighting on here and make it really pop. And I'm going to make a stand-up sign with these pumpkins. All right, that is it for fall. Now I have a few things for Halloween. I'm not a huge Halloween decorator. Oh wait, I have one more thing for fall. I lied. I found the gather sign and I grabbed two of them. Um, because I can't decide if I want metal or if I want white or if I want two and put them in different places in my house. One I definitely want on my front porch. So I grabbed two. These are nice. Let me tell you, at Target I have bought these wood letters for three and five dollars. Now they were already painted, but I can, I have paint, I can paint ga on the gather and this is the only Thanksgiving word I found. I will guess that the, the same person that bought up all the ribbon, bought up all the words too. It's fine, I found two of the word gather and then I think I wanna find thankful as well. And if I only use one of those, I'll give the other one to Sarah and she can paint it for her house. And then I found boo. I already have the word eek, different setup from Target, but I found the word boo, I'm gonna paint this. And then at, for Halloween, when I put my Halloween stuff out a little bit, I will put this out probably again on my front porch. Um, Cause I'm getting super excited about decorating my front porch. Uh, the other sign that I found, I'm gonna take this string off, which is neat now, they don't glue these on. It actually is like a gift bag with the tabbies on the end but it's the word wicked. I'm gonna paint this. Definitely, you know, do the witch's broom, her hat, the moon, and then this word wicked and maybe red or purple, I don't know. But I'm doing wicked because I love that and it's gonna go somewhere. I don't know where. Um, they had new this year and that also is new. Look at these guys, they are witch's brooms. Now, I am I can already tell you, oh, how do I get it open? Why isn't it sticky? Rude. That I'm, this is, they had them in black, purple, and orange. So the stem, the stick, and everything, it's made out of like a rosewood. I can already tell you right this very second that I'm taking off this ribbon bow thingy. Um, so let's just do it, let's just do it. Now, these are pretty fragile. You wanna be kinda of gentle with these. I'm taking off this bow, and then I'm taking off it off of this. It's on just a silver bread tie, but what I would like to do is wrap it around the top like this with some hot glue, neatly, like that, and put it on the top of my broom instead of a bow. I just don't think a bow is Halloween-ish. But I grabbed two packages of these. You get three per pack. And I think they might even be kind of fun if you hang them on a garland like that and then maybe get some witches hats in between. I think would be a lot of fun. Um, for like your mantle or a doorway or something. So for me, I thought six was a perfect number. And like I said, they come in orange and purple. So I may get some colored ribbon or twine. I do have orange twine, I could do orange. And then do like purple witches hats, the wooden ones. So anyway, I grabbed two sets. We'll make something out of these, probably, most likely. Um, they would also go great on if you have any um, wreaths, Halloween wreath ideas. You could just stick one of those on there with a witch's hat. I didn't buy any of the wood cutouts because I'm fairly certain I have all of them upstairs. I just need to go through my um, my tote of fall Halloween, my Halloween's giving tote. 
and pull out my crafty stuff, which I'll do that next week. But I knew the things that I knew exactly were new or that I wanted more of, I picked them up. Um, I have done these how these before. They're just skulls. But this year new, they have these little hands. What? And let me show you what's they have them in glow in the dark and um, this look. But look at there's a hole. You can hang them. You can make a necklace. You could make a Halloween costume, again with the garland, depending on what you wanna do. You get 10 hands. Oh, and that's neat, you get a left hand and a right hand. <laughs> so you get five sets of hands. Um, and there's a, a thing so you can wire them on, string them up. So I thought this would be super fun and maybe a bowl, a candy bowl. Um, just some heads and hands and maybe some body parts. I don't know, is that Halloween? I feel like that's Halloween. <laughs> You can also paint these. I have spray painted these. They paint great. They take paint really well. Excuse me, itchy nose. So that is everything for my giant fall and Halloween Dollar Tree haul. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will be having some fall and Halloween DIYs coming up very soon. Actually, this week, I know I have one DIY coming out, maybe two, and then I should start up more at least once a week. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk with you later. Bye.